Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. So today we are going to be doing a unboxing slash first impression, I guess, of the Glam Glow Gravity Mud My Little Pony Mask. This is a peel-off mask and I wanted to test it out on camera with you guys. So if you guys want to see how this product performs and what it looks like, then go ahead and keep on watching. Also, don't forget that if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload. And let's get into the mask. Okay, so a couple things about this. So this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. This is a purple glitter peel off mask. This says that it is supposed to firm, lift, tight, tone, and then it just says sexy contours, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but okay. Um, this also retails for $59, and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. I do also believe that you get a brush in here, and it says you can use this on your face, neck, and I'm assuming that's with this area and also this area, but I can't pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. Um, and you can purchase this at Sephora or GlamGlow.com, and there are three different versions. There is Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, and Princess Luna. Pinkie Pie is pink, Twilight Sparkle is purple, and Princess Luna is black, I believe. I think it's called Princess Luna. Um, so yeah, so let's get right into this. I don't have scissors. So I'm just stabbing it with a pen. That sounds like the safe thing to do, right? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. It says, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it says, hello, sexy. It's very glittery, so it's just reflective off my ring light. Um, so... Welcome to the most sparkling firming mask experience. Hashtag glitter mask dries time. Dry time. Dry. Blah. Drying time varies. The more you put on, the longer it takes. You don't need a lot to sparkle and firm, but if you want the perfect selfie, drying time may take up to 30 to 45 minutes. Wipe off excess mask that remains. And then it says it again in French, it looks like. Um, here are three things you can do while you're waiting for your mask to dry. Watch an episode of your favorite TV show, throw a glitter party and dance around, take the perfect the perfect glitter selfie. P.S. Don't forget to share your selfies with hashtag Glam Glow and hashtag Glitter Mask. So that is the instructions in here. And then you flip this up. Oh, boy. So this is how it came out just with the whole plastic insert. Oh my god. And it's very cute. You guys are going to be able to see that? Probably not. I'll do some up-close shots for you guys. Okay, so here is what it looks like up close. And if you guys aren't familiar with My Little Pony, that is Twilight Sparkle, like I mentioned before. And let's see. Oi. Oh, that's really hard. Okay, so they, it does have a protective seal. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't put it from this way. Too late. All right, I'll put it from the back. How cute! Okay, so also inside you get a page of stickers, I'm assuming. Oh, so you get this page of stickers also inside, which my daughter's gonna love. And then you also get this, you guys will be able to see that. So this is a little spatula thingy, like a little, um, whatchamacallit, for the, to place it on your face. Okay, so first impressions, I really don't know what it smells like, but it smells divine. Like, I'm not even kidding, it smells so good, and it's very goopy, um, and it looks really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and get a mirror and start applying this to my face. So first I'm just going to take off whatever's on the lid. I zoomed you guys in so don't be so worried. This um, applicator is a silicone or rubber base. Okay, so it's super like goopy. Okay. 
It's very cold, which I expected because of the because of the type of mask that it is. Usually when it's a peel off, I feel like it's always going to be cold. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way down to my chest, but we will see. So that little bit, oh, it's getting in my hair. So that little bit off the lid just went a super, or the tab just went a super long way. So that's always good. It just looks so... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop talking so I can zoom through this part. So, the silicone applicator, I'm not sure that I love it too much. My towel is going to fall down. Um, I'm not sure that I love it so much. It just feels like it's hard to maneuver. But, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. But I get it. It's more sanitary to use this than your fingers. That's the whole point of skincare. Um, it smells like fruit. May like, maybe great, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure on that. So now we are going to let this dry. And I will be back and I'll let you know how long it took to dry also. And I might do something with my hair because my towel just keeps falling off. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so it has been about 30 minutes. 30, 35 minutes, um, and it is very tight. It's very hard to move, <laughs> to move my mouth. So let's, oh, yeah. Just hopefully it doesn't hurt that bad because I did get it in my hair over here a little bit. So let's see. I don't think I'll be able to do it in one. One swoop. Yeah, that, hurt. that hurts. <laughs> it smells delicious though. There's something so satisfying about peel-off masks. It looks really pretty though. It's pretty and glittery. I think next time not put such a thick oh, layer on. I think the worst is over. I look like um the guy from SpongeBob. 
Squidward. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash the excess off and I'll be right back. So now that I've wiped most of the excess off, you can still see that I have, oh, well, I guess I missed my nose on that one. Um, but you can still see that I have like remnants of glitter around, um, which I expected. It did make my, one of my scars on my face a little bit more red. Um, but as for like the big scars right here, it didn't really, doesn't really look like it affected them. This one it did also. So a couple things that I would do differently would be just A, apply a thinner layer and I would avoid, um, apply a thinner layer and then B, avoid like right underneath your under eye because the more that that peel off mask, the more that you use a peel off mask underneath there, you're going to get uh, more wrinkles and sagginess. So I would probably just go like right around here and then use like a gel mask um, or just a night cream right under here and then I would probably take it down to my neck next time because it is supposed to be a firming one. My face feels tighter but any peel off mask I feel like makes your face feel tighter just right after you use it. Um, I will have to use it a couple more times but I mean I love the smell, I love the texture, I love like just, I love the glitter. I'm not mad that there's glitter left on my face. Um, but yeah, I liked it. It was something fun to do, something different. I don't really use a lot of peel off face masks like that so um yeah I'm just excited I like the product I give it a thumbs up um so speaking of thumbs up if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up also don't forget that if you are not subscribed already make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys